Good morning, Ben Alexander here, and in this video I'm going to talk about the effects of heat on EVs versus gas-powered cars. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to show you what's under the hood in both of my EVs, my 2020 Bolt and my 2025 Blazer EV. Let's get started. When you open the hood of the Bolt, you have a little tighter fit, and what you're really seeing here is the inverter, and we also have a coolant system that regulates the temperature of the battery. Also note, you have a 12 volt battery that is used for signals and things like the uh, display, and you still need to change out that battery every two years. It's a standard AC Delco 12 volt battery with uh, decent access, as you can see. The interesting thing about this is I can actually drive 100 miles and I can come back and still put my hand on this uh, component here. So you don't have heat tearing up the EV the way it would tear up a, a gas-powered car. Over to the Blazer, you have a similar setup. You have the inverter up top. The uh, orange cables are actually high-voltage cable. You have your uh, brake systems here. And you also have a 12 volt battery, just like uh, easy access to, easy to reach, easy to take out if you needed to. So people think that an EV doesn't need a 12 volt battery. In this case, it does. But what's nice too is you can see how easy it is to access everything. You don't have a vehicle that's hard to work on. But the truth of the matter is, there's not going to be a lot of work done on these vehicles, period. Let me explain. A typical gas-powered engine can heat up to 220 degrees and so you have a constant contraction at regular temperature and expansion. That's why you need an extensive coolant system, a radiator, you have a high, high uh, density hoses, you have this entire regulatory system. Also you have an exhaust system that creates heat underneath the car. You also have all the safety systems around gasoline. You have a fuel pump, you have fuel lines. So with, with pow cars that are powered by gasoline, you have a much more complicated piece of machinery. And because of the constant heating and cooling, you have more things that break, more things that go bad. I would say that the highest temperatures you're gonna get in a typical EV uh, are about 120 degrees. Whereas the highest, like I said before, the highest temperatures in a car, even with everything working right, are 220 degrees. Of course, if your coolant system fails, you're going to have a lot more problems. I mean, you can fry an entire engine if you have a bad water pump. There's also a lot more liquids that can leak. Um, the entire engine of an internal, internal combustion engine needs oil that's circulated through the entire engine to lubricate everything from the tops of the pistons all the way down to the crankshaft. This is not required. You're never going to have an oil leak in an EV because there's no oil. There's also no oil changes. So I have a friend of mine in the auto repair business and I asked him to compile a bunch of random invoices for used cars and I'm going to do a video about that probably tomorrow where I'm going to do an analysis of large repair bills and I'm talking about like $2,000 or higher, and I'm going to look at how many of those repairs would not be needed on an EV. So stay tuned for that, and uh, if you've never test driven an EV and you live in a house where you could charge one, I would highly recommend you go out and test drive one. Just test drive it if you've never driven one. A year ago, I actually owned a gas-powered Volt Hybrid, and I had my old 2015 Acura just one year ago. And I was spending, just with the Acura, about $200 a month in gas. Well, today, and I was also spent a lot of money on repairs for that car. Of course, it was a 2015 Acura with a V6 engine, and it had uh, 150,000 miles on it. So another thing about older gas-powered cars, they tend to go bad across multiple systems. It costs thousands of dollars. So I bought this Bolt in the uh, summer, summer of 2024, and I've literally, I repaired one tire. I got a nail in the tire. I haven't paid a dime for oil changes because there's no oil. And of course the Blazer I just got. So I went from a year ago owning two gas powered cars, one was a hybrid, to now two full uh, EVs. And I have to tell you, both of these cars are a joy to drive. 
and they're also cheaper. Now, the last caveat on that, and I, I put this in other videos that I've placed here, I have solar on my roof. I have solar on the roof of my home, my Florida home here. So that solar is literally uh, powering my house, but also recharging my cars. And I paid off that solar in 2022. So essentially I'm charging, I'm fueling my cars with my roof for free. And I think having rooftop solar paired with an EV is kind of a perfect combination. Put something in the comments. Uh, if you've ever test driven an EV and you liked it or you didn't, please put something in the comments. Have a blessed day.